Did you know that there's a Nintendo 64 game that has Michael Jackson in it? Do you see him? Ah, I gave you a spoiler, you saw him. Look, Michael Jackson is in Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. And he actually wanted to be in the game and he did motion capture for his poses, his celebrations, his defeats, his moonwalking, his pop lock and drop in. Oh my gosh, you didn't know that. Well, guess what? There's some more stuff you didn't know and you're gonna find out in this next episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection, where you guys get to join me on the journey to collect every North American Nintendo 64 game released with the box and the manual. And yes, I am getting all these as ridiculously inexpensive as you could ever imagine. And if you guys wanna know any of the prices I paid, just leave a comment and I'll let you know with the answer. But here is Ready to Rumble Boxing round two. My goodness, look at how clean that is. Now, there was a person at one point who was selling these sealed. They had a few of these sealed and I tried to buy it and it actually got crushed. The box got really beat up during shipping. So, I mean, I had to return it. Luckily, this one is literally mint condition. I mean, this is super minty. It's got the manual, it's got the registration card with it, all that stuff but I had to return the sealed one because it got destroyed in shipping and that person actually blocked me on eBay. So I couldn't buy it for the super low price, the sealed version of this game. But oh my goodness, I cannot believe Michael Jackson is in this game. And you know who else is in it? The guy who does, let's get ready to rumble. He's actually the final boss in this game. Yeah, believe it. Believe it because it's true. If you haven't played this game, it is fun. It hasn't really stood the test of time, but it's still a fun, wacky, cool, goofy boxing game. And Michael Jackson's in it. You know, this isn't Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for the Sega Genesis, but it might as well be, because Michael Jackson's in it, doing his dance moves and video gaming, just like he does in real life. And I'm happy to have it in the collection. Whoa, whoa, whoa what do we have here? Magical Tetris Challenge. This is by Capcom, it's a Disney game. You know, Capcom had a monopoly on that Disney license back in the day. Now, I guess Disney's making their own games, but look at how clean this is. Look at the condition of this. Look at those colors popping, those colors flossing. Tiny bit of a crease right there, but man, look at how vibrant that is. And the interesting thing with this was I actually got the cartridge separately. So this game is, you know, probably medium priced, but you know, I'm not trying to pay medium price. I'm trying to pay that free price. So I actually picked up just the box in really, really great condition and the manual for super, super cheap. I'm talking under 10 bucks. And then to get most of these cartridges loose is just even cheaper. So this is an absolute mint condition, but this is a really clean card. I can clean that up a little bit. And then I got this for just about five bucks. So I got the whole complete in box for a ridiculously low price. And you know, if you want this complete in box in a single auction, you're not gonna find it for less than like 40 bucks. So in this situation, I did have to buy them in pieces. The box and manual came as one. Magical Tetris challenge, Tetris with Disney characters. Yeah, it's fun. You know it's fun. I don't have to tell you that. But one thing that's actually pretty unique about this box is you notice it doesn't have this red border there like all the other N64 games. That's the red border that I'm referring to. Magical Tetris Challenge has just a blended in almost black border, which is really cool, really unique, and it helps to make these Disney characters pop extra hard, especially with that color. Oh, Tetris, you so good. This is a fun game, I recommend it. This one's an interesting story here. I already have South Park, Chef's Love Shack. But as you can tell, it's not in very good condition. This was one of the first N64 games that I got when I was collecting, just because I had the original South Park game for N64, and my brother took me to pick it up on launch day, and the store was closed when we got there, so he was really pissed at me. But that's why I have a special soft spot for the South Park N64 games. So I knew I had to get the upgrade for this. So here is the upgrade. Now this game is actually going up in value right now. I don't know why. I got this for under $20 when I first started collecting and I was waiting to get it again for under $20 and it took literally a year.
It took me literally a year to finally get it complete in box in really nice shape for under $20. Because for a lot of these games, $20 is my max. I don't care how rare they are. I want them in amazing condition for under $20. And you know, it takes time to get an amazing deal. So look at how clean this is. Super upgrade in every way. We're gonna compare it and now I'll have this extra one for trade bait or to flip on eBay, something like that. So let's just go ahead and check out the contents. Cartridge, super, super nice. You guys saw that South Park rally manual and you freaked out a little bit, didn't you? Don't worry, it's Chef's Love Shack. Now let's compare it to my original. So the box, I'm definitely gonna have up for sale. And then this cart, has got a sticker on there, a rental sticker there. Back looks pretty clean, but man, easy cart upgrade with the new one. And then the manual, this actually looks pretty decent, but you know, not as nice as the super clean one I just got. So I'll go ahead and put this paperwork in here. And then this I will sell off in a bundle. I'll probably put it with another lower cost N64 game to drive the eBay price up a bit. So I could probably sell this for over 30. And I got this, the super clean condition upgrade in every way, especially the cart. I got this for under 20 took me over a year to get the condition upgrade for under $20. And this is a trivia game, so it doesn't have a lot of replay value. You know, you can start to learn the questions after you play it enough. And a lot of these questions aren't really relevant anymore. You know, it's more like back in the day type questions, but still this game is going up in value just because South Park remains relevant. So I'm super happy to have the condition upgrade for even less than I paid for the beat up version back in the day. Now this next one has a crazy story behind it too. So PGA European Tour is probably the second rarest cartridge only for the N64, but also complete in box sports game. It's probably the third rarest complete in box because there's one that I showed in a previous video that's like stupid expensive. And let me go pull these out. So PGA European Tour complete in box, I would say is the third most expensive N64 game. If you want this in real nice shape, easily over a hundred bucks. But what did we pay? So here's how it breaks down. Box and manual, I waited forever and I was finally able to get these together, just the box and the manual for 15 bucks. Yeah, 15 bucks. And you can easily pay well over a hundred dollars for this complete in box. This is the box and manual together for just 15 bucks. I got super, super lucky. And then the cartridge, I actually had a really beat up one, beat up on the front, beat up on the back. And I got just a cartridge. It was a buy it now auction. I sent them a lower offer they accepted. I got just a cartridge beat up for 15 bucks. So here's what happened. Then in a trade for a bunch of cartridges, including this super clean one, I got an insane deal. I traded, I'll just show you them right now. I traded Red Dead Redemption for the Xbox One for all four of these carts. Like, ridiculous. And yes, these are all authentic. Ridiculous. I mean, two of these cartridges alone is worth more than a brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 for Xbox One. So I got all four of these carts, including this one, for trading a Red Dead Redemption 2 on a game trading website to someone. They really wanted Red Dead Redemption 2. I really wanted their N64 carts. Easy trade, they were happy, I was happy. But the beat up one that I had, which you saw in a previous episode, I sold the beat up cartridge for like $42. So I sold just the beat up cartridge for more than I paid for it complete in box and a mint cartridge. Isn't that ridiculous? I paid $30 total. 15 for the box and manual, and then 15 for the beat up cartridge. And then I sold just the beat up cart for $42. So, hey man, that's how you do it. Stay persistent, keep your eyes open, and be patient. You don't get a good deal overnight. But this is the third rarest complete in box sports game. I would say the second rarest is NBA in the Zone 2000, which I do have complete in box. Crazy story on that. Check out a previous episode if you haven't seen it already. And then the rarest sports game would be Super Bowling. 
that's top five holy grail, no question. Even cart only, Super Bowling is like $150 right now. So man, I'm crazy happy to have this. I'm gonna put it in one of these super protective cases. I can't wait to do that. Keep it safe, like Han Solo in the Carbonite. This is so fun, I never want it to end. Chameleon Twist 2, complete in box. This is also one of the most expensive games that you can get. I mean, this is easily over 200 bucks complete in box and I still don't have it yet. And the cart by itself can easily go for 30 bucks if it's in good condition. I picked this up for 15 bucks. Got a little bit of label wear on the front there. Back is super nice, contacts are super clean. But I got this for just about 15 bucks because I figured, hey, if I can get just the cart for a super rare game for a super low price, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then maybe I can get the manual for like 10 bucks or something silly ridiculous because it's in a bundle and they don't realize they have a rare manual in there. But I still need the box and manual for this. But this game's actually really good. I'd go as far as to say this is a hidden gem on the Nintendo 64. It's a lot of fun. You can see the gameplay footage down there in the corner. But this game's awesome. The cart is going up in value and complete in box is just continuing to go up in value. So I'm only gonna buy this if I can get the super flea market yard sale deal. So still waiting for that to happen. But as you can see with PGA European Tour, it does happen. You just gotta be patient. Don't throw your money away. Be smart, buy the thing for low, be patient and wait for the good stuff. This is another fun one here. Got Charlie Blast's Territory the cart in the manual. So on the same game trading website, GameTZ, where I got the Super 4 cart deal, somebody was trading a couple manuals. I had some duplicates, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing rare, just some uh, common and uncommon manuals. And I traded for this manual, which is actually, this is definitely uncommon. I mean, easily 60 bucks, complete in box. And they said, oh, I'll give you the cart and the manual, you trade me your duplicate manuals that we had worked out. I know one of them was NFL Blitz 2001, and I'll look up what the other ones were, but the manual is mint. Real happy about that, because I don't have the box for this yet. And in the cart, I just trusted there wasn't a rip on it, and you can see, yeah, there's a rip on the front. Back's real nice, but dang it. That means I gotta upgrade this at some point. So, Charlie Blast Territory, it's a puzzle game. This is going up in value. I don't have the box. I still need to get a better cart for it, but I mean, I remember there was a time when I could have got this for like 40 bucks, but I was on a trip. I didn't have a lot of access to internet, so I missed out on that. Still haunts me to this day. Haunting me, Charlie. Blasting yourself into my nightmares. This game's going up in value. A puzzle game, it's pretty unique. Reminds me of like a Tonka truck action figure. So still need the box and the card upgrade, but still happy to have this because I traded some duplicate instruction manuals and I didn't need anyways for it. So that was an easy trade for me. Probably remember this from a previous episode and it's real nice. This was from that episode where I got like, I don't know, 30 complete in box games for 10 bucks each from the same person. That was an insane video. Check that out if you haven't, but it's got the manual, but this sticker on there that was the only cart that had a sticker on it out of all the 30 complete in box games. So what did I do? Picked up the condition upgrade for under five bucks. This was just a simple 99 cent auction and I bid 99 cents, nobody else bid on it. So definitely happy to have a condition upgrade. A Little bit of uh, some darkening there, which I couldn't see in the photos originally, but you know what? It's an easy condition upgrade for under five bucks. Now I'll just bundle this one with some duplicate carts that I have and yay, condition upgrade for FIFA 98. I know I'm not the only person who thinks that's cool. And if I do, then you should think it's cool and we'll be cool thinkers together. Throw another goofy one in there just to keep this video going, going, going with the good times. Real clean. This is an inexpensive complete in box game, NBA Live 99. This was definitely under 10 bucks and check out the cart on the inside get out of there and like i said one of the rarest and most expensive complete in box games on the n64 is a basketball game nba in the zone 2000 at one point i had two complete in boxes of that uh wait i still do have two complete in boxes of that hold on where are those check this out look at how ridiculous this is two complete in box NBA in the zone 2000s. Look these up after this video. 
Look these up on eBay. Look how much this game goes for complete in box. This one's really, really nice. And then this is my very good condition one. You know, tiny bit of fading on it. There's a sticker on the cart. But this is my super clean one. I do have a story on how I got this one. Ridiculous, I can't remember it right now, but I basically got this for like free. And this is easily over $200. Even this beat up one is easily over $200 complete in box. So I have two of them. But whatever I was saying about NBA Live 99, it's not as exciting as whatever I was just saying about NBA in the zone 2000. So another complete in box game under 10 bucks. Really, really nice shape. I'm just happy to have these. Nostalgia overload for me. And I hope you guys can feel that too. Feel that in your soul. Feel that wrap itself around you like a hug and kiss. So that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. If you guys want to know any of the prices that I paid, just comment and ask. And I'm happy to comment back what I paid for them. Always be patient and that's how you'll get the best deal. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. That really helps get the Nintendo 64 the exposure that it deserves because I think it is extremely underrated as a video game console. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Click subscribe to join the Gadget God Squad. And if you didn't know already, I'm the Gadget God. I play retro games, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching, everyone. And smash your brother in Mario Kart today.